In today's wrap-up, Lithuania has sent 30,000 COVID-19 test kits to Armenia. Health authorities have released an online interactive map which shows the locations of self-isolated people. The announcement on the decision on Gakik Tsarukyan's detention is set for Sunday 21st. Armenia's Prosecutor General has launched proceedings against the decision to grant bail to former President Robert Kocharyan. And a Japanese resident of Yerevan, Hiroki Tachiri, has published a book about Armenia. Lithuania's foreign minister has announced that the Baltic state will send a medical team to Armenia to help with the country's coronavirus response. The medics will spend two weeks in Armenia, making Lithuania the first country to respond to Armenia's call to send medics. 1.5 tons of medical equipment and supplies have also been sent, including 30,000 test kits. Sweden and the European Union have also been supporting this Lithuanian-led initiative. The batches of test kits will be a great boost to Armenian health authorities, as they try to up the number of tests conducted daily from 2,000 a day to 3,000 a day. Poland too has sent medical supplies to Armenia, including 20,000 masks, 2,400 face shields, and 2,700 liters of hand sanitizer. Health Minister Arsen Torosyan has posted an interactive map on his Facebook page. The map shows the locations of people self-isolating due to COVID-19 and has an accuracy of around 50 meters. This comes as South Korean health authorities were praised after conducting a similar initiative which pinpointed coronavirus hotbeds around South Korean cities. 459 new cases of COVID-19 were confirmed on Friday, raising the total number of cases to 19,157. 706 more recoveries were also reported and 10 more deaths, raising the death toll to 319. The court decision on the detention of business tycoon and opposition politician Gagik Tsarukyan is set for June 21st. Tsarukyan is facing charges of illegal acquisition of land in Orange, financial irregularities related to two of his casinos worth around $60 million, and vote buying by members of his prosperous Armenia party during the 2017 parliamentary elections. Tsarukyan has categorically denied the charges and protesters had gathered outside the National Security Service building where he was being interrogated. This week, Armenia's parliament voted to lift Tsarukyan's immunity. They also passed a motion approving his detention. The Prosecutor General's Office of Armenia has announced it will appeal the decision to release former President Robert Kocharyan on bail. Yesterday, Kocharyan was granted bail by the Criminal Court of Appeal for the amount of around $4 million. Kocharyan is facing charges of overthrowing the constitutional order after the disputed 2008 presidential elections that resulted in mass protests and the killing of eight protesters and two policemen. This is Kocharyan's third release from detention in two years. Overall, he has spent more than a year and a half in detention. And finally, Hiroki Tachiri, a Japanese resident of Yerevan, has released a book entitled Omni Local Yerevan Armenia. The book recounts what it's like to live in Armenia as a foreigner, including perks and challenges. Hiroki writes about when he first came to Armenia in 2009 and how much has changed since then. The book is also full of tips about renting offices, launching a company, getting a visa, finding an apartment, and even finding nice restaurants. Previously to this, Hiroki released another book in Japanese, which presents the country to Japanese audiences, encouraging them to visit the country. 